Thursday saw the completion of all of the second round matches in St. Petersburg, and with places in the last eight at stake, the competition was understandably fierce. Igor Konitsin and Mikhail Elgin were both in fine form, striking the ball beautifully in the early stages of their all-Russian affair. But it was Knitsin who got the better of the majority of the baseline battles in the opening set, wrapping it up six games to two. But in the second, Elgin initially took his game to another level. But unfortunately it couldn't last and it was Knitsin who finished the stronger of the two. And after just over an hour, he found himself at match point. So Knitsin through to the quarterfinals in straight sets. In the last match of the afternoon session, Mikhail usually faced Denis Istomin. And right from the outset, it looked like the top seed was in for a tough day at the office. Istomin then continued his early dominance with more outstanding shot making. And after wrapping up the opening set 6-2, things went from bad to worse for the top seed, as he required treatment on his back, which by that stage was really starting to inhibit his play. And after just three and a half games of the second set, he decided enough was enough. So huge disappointment for Yuzhny, who was trying to win back-to-back -back titles after his victory last week in Moscow. But a golden opportunity now for Istomin, who progressed into the last eight at this level for the second time this year. And strangely enough, it was a similar scenario in the big match of the evening between Marat Safin and Igor Andreev. The former world number one got off to a flyer, dominating the early exchanges by executing a very intelligent game plan really well. And after winning the opening set comfortably, it became apparent that his opponent was carrying an injury. And after an extensive discussion with the ATP trainer, Andreev decided it was impossible to continue and handed Safin a relatively simple passage into the last eight, his third quarterfinal of the season.